Okay, so let's have this topic, the central limit theorem. So for samples of size 30 or more, the sample mean is approximately normally distributed with the sampling mean equals to the population mean and the sample standard deviation thus the population standard deviation over the square root of the sample size. So these are the formulas to remember. So for sample standard deviation, that's the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. And also for this Z score formula, so the observed value minus the sample mean or you can use the population mean over the sample standard deviation. So we have this given, so let the sample mean be the mean of the random sample size of 60 drawn from a population with mean 120 and the standard deviation is 45. Then find the probability that the sample mean assumes a value between 112 and 125. So first we need to convert this population standard deviation in sample standard deviation using this formula. So the population standard deviation does 45. Then this small n does the sample size which is equal to 60. So we have now 45 divided by square root of 60. So the sample standard deviation now we have 45 divide by square root of 60 and that's 5.895. Then to solve now for this probability that the sample mean is between 120 and 125. So first we need to convert this one in a z-score using this formula. So if x is equal to 112, so 112 minus this sample mean or the population mean that's 120 divided by this sample standard division so z now is equal to 112 minus 120 equals then divide by 5.895 it's negative 1.38 then if uh, x equals 125, so we have 125 minus 120 divided by 5.895. So z now we have 125 minus 120 equals divide by 5.895 and that's 0.86. So Z is negative 1.38 for 112 and 0.86 for 125. So the probability now that Z between negative 1.38 and 0.86. So in a normal curve, let's assume this one is negative 1.38 and this one is 0.86. So to find out the area, so let's start with negative 1.38. So 1.3. Then 0, 0.8, so the area now is 0 0.4162. Then the area of 0.86, so 0 0.8, then 0, 0.6, so the area now is 0 0.351. Since this area, so from the mean to this negative 1.38, so therefore this 0.4162 belongs to this area and also from the mean and this point 86 so therefore this point 3051 belongs to this area since we're looking for the probability between so this area is the unknown and to solve for this area so just add point 0.4162 plus 0.351 so the probability now is 0.7213 or in percentage form 72.13% so this is now the probability
Then for this given, so find the probability that the sample mean assume a value greater than 117. So uh, x is greater than 117. So again, we need to convert this 117 in z-score. So 117 minus 120 divided by the sample standard division, that's 5.8895. So Z now, that's 117 minus 120, then equals, divide by 5.895. It's negative 0.52. So Z is greater than negative 0.52. So to solve now for the area, so in a normal curve, let's assume this one is negative 0.52. So, area of negative 0.52, so this one is 0 0.502, so the area now is 0 0.1985. Since from the mean to this negative 0 0.52, so this 0 0.1985 belongs to this area. And since greater than, so therefore, to the right. So to solve now for this area or the probability that z is greater than negative 0.52 since half of the curve, the area is 0 0.5. So we have now 0.1985 plus 0 0.05. So the probability is 0 0.6985. Or in percentage form, this one is 69.85%. Then this given, so uh, less than 110. So uh, sample mean is less than 110. So again, convert this 110 in a z-score. So 110 minus 120 divided by 5.895. So 110. Minus 120 equals divide by 5.895. It's negative 1.72. So Z is less than negative 1.72. So to solve now for the area, so in a curve, let's assume this one is negative 1.72. And for the area, so negative 1.72, so 1.7. Then 0, 2, so the area now is 0 0.4573. So from the mean to this negative 1.72, so this area, 0 0.4573 belongs to this area. Since less than, so to the left. And again, half of the curve, the area is 0 0.5. So to solve now for the probability, so we have this 0 0.5 minus this area, that's 0 0.4573. So the probability now is 0 0.0427. Then in a percentage form, this one is 4.27%.